Ungulates are a large clade of animals found on every corner of the earth. The word ungulate means having hooves, and animals are split between odd-toed individuals, including tapirs and rhinos, and even-toed individuals, which include bovids, giraffes, regular deer, mouse deer, and, rather bizarrely, whales, who are the closest extant relatives to the hippopotamus, another ungulate. Odd-toed ungulates are housed within the order Perisodactyla, which contains three families, equids, rhinos, and tapirs. They are characterized by having an odd number of functional toes. Equids have a single toe, whereas rhinos and tapirs have three. Rhinocerotidae contains five species, commonly referred to as rhinos. The most well-known of the species, black and white rhinos are found in sub-Saharan Africa, but a further three species exist in Asia. The Indian rhino, the Javan rhino, and the Sumatran rhino. All species have horns that are used primarily for self-defense, but are also used for foraging. Black, white, and Sumatran rhinos have two horns, whereas Indian and Javan rhinos have only one. Unlike their names would suggest, Africa's black and white rhinos are not named so due to a difference in skin color, but can be differentiated in several ways. The shape of the upper lip is more V-shaped in black rhinos and flatter in white rhinos, and they also vary drastically in size, with male white rhinos weighing a whopping 8,000 pounds in comparison to the black rhino, which weighs a mere 3,000. Of the Asian species, Indian and Javan rhinos are quite distinct, sporting an armor-plated-like appearance. Tapiridae contains four species of tapir. The Baird's tapir, the South American tapir, and the mountain tapir all exist in South America, with the remaining species, the Malayan tapir, found throughout southern Thailand, the Malay Peninsula, and the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Tapirs are herbivorous and are known to have flexible snouts which they use to collect foliage. The largest of the four species, the Malayan tapir, exhibits a unique coloration and can weigh almost 1,200 pounds. Although the three South American species are significantly smaller, they are still the largest native land mammal on the continent, with some male tapirs weighing up to 660 pounds. Perhaps their most interesting characteristic is the color pattern of their young. Regardless of the species, calves have white stripes across their bodies which grow out as they age. In addition, Malay tapir calves appear to be significantly darker than their South American cousins. The Equidae family contains seven species, which includes horses, asses, and zebras. While there are certain breeds of domesticated horse that exceed this size, the largest wild equid is the gravy zebra, which stands up to 5.2 feet at the base of the neck and weighs close to 900 pounds. They are found in East Africa in the countries of Ethiopia and Kenya, where they are currently endangered. The plain zebra is slightly smaller, and although they are much more common with a larger range stretching into southern Africa, they are also endangered. The African wild ass is one of three asses in the Equidae family. The Somali wild ass is a particularly beautiful subspecies, exhibiting the same coloration as zebras on their legs, but with a light grey body and a white belly, muzzle and chin. The species Equus ferris is split into two subspecies, the domesticated horse, which contains all breeds, and the Shavalski's horse. The latter is found on the steeps of Mongolia and is said to be the last truly wild horse. Even-toed ungulates are contained within Artiodactyla, which includes camels, giraffes, deer, bovines, and whales. They are categorized by having an even number of functional toes, usually two to four, on which they bear their weight. Camelidae contains seven species, three in the Camelus genus and four in the Llama genus. These creatures once roamed much of Eurasia and North America, but are now found natively in two separate areas. The Camelus genus, being found throughout North Africa and the Middle East, with dromedary camels also being introduced to Australia in the 1840s, and the Llama genus being found in South America. 
The wild Bactrian camel and the enormous Bactrian camel, which can weigh up to 2,200 pounds, are much more similar in appearance to llamas. They are found on the frigid steeps of Central Asia and have two large humps. The slender dromedary camel, also known as the Arabian camel, is built for the desert, weighing around half the weight and exhibiting just a single hump. The four species in the llama genus, the llama, alpaca, vicuna, and guanaco, are very similar both in appearance and range, being found at the southern tip of the Andes mountain range, with only guanacos living further south. Suina is a suborder consisting of two families that will group together. Suidae, which are generally referred to as pigs, contain six genera and 18 species and are native to Eurasia and Africa. Tyasuidae contains three monotypic pig-like genera, which are often referred to as New World pigs, being found in the Americas. Unlike most other even-toed ungulates, pigs are omnivorous, surviving off both plant matter and meat. Wild boars generally weigh a maximum of 770 pounds, but have been recorded at a staggering 1,000 pounds. Conversely, the smallest species of pig is the pygmy hog, which stands at just 10 inches high, weighs just 12 pounds, and are highly endangered with an estimated 250 individuals remaining in the wild. One of the most interesting features of wild pigs is their tusks, although they are not present in all individuals. Barbarossa males have two sets of tusks, one protruding from the upper jaw and one from the lower, which if they're not maintained by grinding, can grow so long that they pierce the skull of the individual. While Camelidae and Suina were the first two groups to split from the main pack, the next split is by far the most interesting. The clade Cetromenantia contains two suborders, Ruminantia, which are all fairly similar and includes giraffes, deer, and bovines such as bison and wildebeest. Whippomorpha, on the other hand, contains both whales and hippos and is thought to have diverged around 59 million years ago, with hippos then diverging from whales around 55 million years ago. The members of Cetacea, whales are mammals and are more closely related to giraffes than they are to fish. This means that they breathe air, females produce milk, which is suckled by their young, and they have hair, the follicles of which are perhaps most noticeable on humpback whales. There are over 80 species of whale, which can be broadly categorized into toothed whales, including dolphins, porpoises, and orcas, and barleyan whales, which includes gray whales and right whales. One of the whale's most impressive traits is breaching, which they do to rid themselves of parasites. Humpback whales can weigh up to 30 tons and can almost breach their entire bodies out of the water. Even bigger still is the blue whale, which can weigh close to 200 tons and rarely ever breaches due to the energy that would be required to do so. A group of whales is called a pod and usually consists of up to 30 animals, although this number can be larger, especially in smaller toothed whales who band together for protection. Hippos are the closest relatives to whales, but are thought of as semi-aquatic mammals, spending most of their day in the water keeping cool and exiting only at dusk to graze. There are only two species within Hippopotamidae, both of which are found in Africa. The common hippo is found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, and the pygmy hippo, which is found in West Africa. The common hippopotamus can be best described as gigantic, they are the third largest land mammal after the elephant and the rhino, weighing upwards of 6,600 pounds in the wild, but have reached almost 10,000 pounds in captivity. The pygmy hippo is significantly smaller, weighing up to 600 pounds. Both species are largely herbivorous, but have been known to consume meat very occasionally, although their stomachs are not made for doing so. They are extremely territorial and are known as the deadliest mammal in Africa responsible for 3,000 deaths per year, which is 10 times that of the Nile crocodile. Ruminantia is the last group of ungulates that we'll look at. Ruminants are grazing mammals whose stomachs are made up of four parts, allowing them to consume their food through a fascinating two-part process known as rumination. 
Initially, these animals chew and swallow their food, which is fermented in the first chamber of their stomach, known as the rumen, and passed to the reticulum, which allows it to be regurgitated in the form of cuds. These cuds are then chewed again, swallowed and passed to the third chamber, the omassum, for further processing, before ending up in the true stomach, the abomassum. The most distant ruminants are members of the Tragulidae family, which contains 10 species of mouse deer. Nine species are found in Southeast Asia, with the remaining single species located in Africa. As adorable as they sound, the Javan mouse deer is the smallest living ungulate, weighing just two to four pounds. They exist on the forest floor and are mainly herbivorous, although they have been known to eat invertebrates and sometimes carrion. Most species have a light brown coat with white highlights around the neck, but some species are spotted and the Philippine mouse deer is much darker. The Antilocapridae family contains only a single species, the pronghorn, which is closely related to the giraffe, but found on the other side of the planet in North America, as far north as Saskatchewan and Alberta in Canada, and as far south as northern Mexico. They exhibit a striking coloration with a white belly, rump and striped neck and a dark area on the front of their face. They are often called the American antelope and being preyed upon by cougars, wolves, coyotes and bears have evolved to be the fastest land mammal in the Americas, reaching up to 90 kilometers per hour. Giraffidae contains two of the most unique animals on the planet, the giraffe and the okapi, which is also known as the forest giraffe or zebra giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest mammal on Earth, with the loftiest individuals reaching a height of almost 19 feet and can weigh over 4,000 pounds. They use this height to feast on the foliage of tall acacia trees that are not accessible to the other herbivores of the savannah. The taxonomy of the giraffe is highly debated. Regardless, they display a wide range of fur patterns between species or subspecies with some giraffes showing clearly defined patches and others with a more broken or blotched pattern. While giraffes are found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, the Okapi is located solely in the Congo, where they are endangered with an estimated 22,000 remaining in the wild. Okapi have long tongues used to select vegetation, in addition to cleaning their ears. They have a very unique appearance with a deep brown coat and white and black striped legs used for camouflage. Servidae is a much larger family with 47 species. They are more commonly known as deer and are well known for the antlers that are present on males from all but one species and also on female caribou. Deer are split into two main subfamilies, Old World deer, which are found mostly through Eurasia, and New World deer found mostly in the Americas, although there is some crossover between the two. A third subfamily does exist, Hydropotinae, which contains a single species, the Chinese water deer. The largest of the cervids is the moose, with the largest individual ever recorded in Alaska, weighing a staggering 1,800 pounds and standing over seven feet at the shoulder. Another particularly beautiful species is the cheetal deer from India that exhibit a rich brown coat and white dots. Deer are one of the many types of animal whose mating season is known as the rut, which comes from the word ruguaya, meaning to roar. Rutting takes place during the late fall and early winter and sees males compete aggressively for their mates. Males start by making a loud call to ward off other males and will battle antler to antler if this isn't sufficient. Moshide contains a single genus, the musk deer, which oddly enough is more closely related to the bovines that we'll discuss next than it is to the members of Servidae. There are seven species found throughout southern Asia, particularly in the Himalayan region, and one species, the Siberian musk deer, found throughout eastern Russia and northern China. They are relatively small, weighing no more than around 37 pounds, and are a hardy species well adapted for their frigid environment. Rather than antlers, the male's defining feature is the presence of tusks, which protrude from the upper jawbone. Bovidae is by far the largest ungulate family, with 143 extant species. 
This diverse group of animals includes some of the largest on the planet, including the gore, also known as the Indian bison, Africa's wild water buffalo, the North American bison, and the wild yak. All male bovines possess horns, which are also present on many females. Unlike the antlers of the deer family, these horns do not branch, but twist and spiral to create many fascinating shapes. Some of the most interesting are that of the Adax antelope, the giant eland, the East African oryx, and the sturdy curled horns of the bighorn sheep. Many bovids form large groups for protection. Herds of bison can reach almost 5,000 on the grasslands of North America. And famously in Africa, thousands of blue wildebeest trek in a loop from Kenya's Masai Mara to areas further south in Tanzania in search of more fertile lands, all while dodging crocodiles, lions, and other predators. Thank you so much for watching. Click here if you'd like to learn more about bears, and here to view an ungulates playlist that will include further breakdowns of some of these families.